Hi, this is Tony at the Red Power Team. Today we're going to be covering how to put your seed discs in your seed meter on your 2000 series planter. The first thing we want to do is after we've, we've removed that meter off of the planter, we need to take the meter off of the housing. In order to do that, what works out best is if you take your index finger and you can reach inside here and use your thumb, there's a metal clip in there. And if you push up on that metal clip, and pull out and pop that meter right off of the housing. So that works pretty slick to do that by using your index finger and your thumb to push up on this metal clip in order to remove that. So I'm gonna set the housing off to the side and now we wanna take our meter and split it in half. In order to do that, there are two clips that just lift up and that unlatches the two halves together. From there, we can split the meter in half. So we're gonna lay these two meters out and you've got two kits from the Red Power Team. You've got a soybean kit and a corn kit. And each one of those has their own discs and soybean ejectors. And we're gonna walk through those installing them. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's install a corn disc in this meter. So we've got on our meter here a clip we're gonna pop off the top where we're gonna place our corn disc. We can grab our corn disc. It's a white disc. It's actually labeled corn on there and it's a 27 cell disc. Before we can put that on, we need to install our seed ejector as well. So with each corn kit, we've got a seed ejector and there's gonna be a spring that's needed. So we place the spring on the ejector and it slips in a little hole here on the side. You have to squeeze together your tabs in order for it to clip into place. We've got the corn ejector put in. We can then place our corn disc over and there's two pegs to line it up. We put our key back on top. On the other side of the meter, we need to grab the singulator for corn and the corn singulator is labeled corn and you'll notice it's white that matches the corn disc as well. They're both white. In order to port, put the corn singulator in, what works out best is it's gonna clip on this bracket right here. And if you hold your finger under the bracket when you clip it in, it clips in a lot easier. So I find it's easier to slide the top part in. I hold my finger on the bottom side and it clips right in at that point in order to put that singulator in for corn. Once you've got your singulator in, your corn ejector, your corn disc in, you can now put the meter back together. In order to do that, we've got this peg on the bottom that's gonna slip into this groove. You just slide the two sides together. They're gonna flip together. And from there, we lock the meter back on. Once we have that in, we're gonna grab our housing. And our housing then is gonna hook right back onto our meter push the two halves together until they clip and that's how we put a corn disc in the meter. If we we're going to do a soybean disc, say we're switching now from corn to beans, we're going to then remove that meter off the housing again. We're going to unclip the two halves together so we can pop the two halves apart. We've got our corn singulator that we need to remove. There's that little clip that holds that on. If you just kind of push down on that clip, at that point, that singulator will pop right off. Put that back in your corn kit, as well as you'll come over to your corn disc. You'll put the corn disc back on the corn kit, and then you're gonna to need to remove the corn ejector wheel as well. You can leave the spring in there, just make sure you don't lose it, because we can reuse that same spring for the soybean. I'm going to put the soybean ejector wheel in. We're going to line the spring back up, clip it back into place, and now our soybean inject ejector wheel is installed. Grab our soybean disc, place it on our meter, put our locking key back on, and we need to put the soybean singulator in. And as we can see, the soybean singulator is labeled soybeans and it's brown and it matches the brown soybean disc as well. We're going to place that soybean singulator in 
And remember again, we're gonna kind of push the top in, take our finger, hold the bottom side of that clip, and it clips right in. We can then place the two halves back together. Make sure we lock our two halves together by pulling that clip down. We can then grab our housing, put the two pieces back together, clip it in tight, and at that point we have our meter ready to go for soybeans also. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you found the information helpful. Check out our other helpful videos on 2000 Series Planner on the Red Power Team YouTube channel. Thank you.